Our next story is about Eva Erzigova, a supermodel from Czechoslovakia and a symbol of the new freedom in Eastern Europe. Well, actually, we don't really care about freedom or Eastern Europe. The truth is, we only care about bottoms, cute perky little bottoms. And Eva has a sort of tender touchy that Jean-Paul and I would die for. And Excuse me, Antoine, but I don't agree at all with you. You know, I am sorry, but everybody is completely sick of what you are saying about women. You know, it is very macho. You know, it's an old point of view. It is completely out of fashion and demodé what you are thinking. You know, women are not like that. You know, they have brain. They are not only sex symbol. You know, they are human. You know, they have feelings. And you, you treat them only because of their nipples. You know, Stop, finish that thinking. So you don't want me to talk about Eva's tender touchy? No. Uh, well, uh, how about her big boobies? Ah! Uh, something I said. Hello, guys. <laughs> Aren't you pleased to see me? Supermodel Eva Herzegova is best known in Britain as the Wonderbra woman. And she still claims the product is definitely uplifting. Well, look me in the eyes and tell me that you love me. It's good when you have a boyfriend so he knows what, what, what's the real thing. <laughs> because if you go out and you have like this big uh, cleavage and whatever, you meet someone and after you take it over, it's like... <laughs> Although she now lives in New York, Ava met Eurotrash in Prague, the city where she was first discovered. It's where everybody, it's my, it's the city I love and I always go back and I love going back. Ava was born 21 years ago, not in picturesque Prague, but in a dreary industrial town 70 miles to the east, known as Litvinov. She grew up in this block of flats and not surprisingly dreamt of escaping. Litvinov has some of the highest pollution levels in Eastern Europe, more suitable for breeding mutants than models. It can get unpleasant because sometimes kids can go to school because it's too polluted and can't get out from the houses. They have to stay at house, close the windows and everything. But it's my hometown, so I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I have all my friends there, I have my family, I have all my grandparents. I guess if I was still back in my little town, I would be a secretary or whatever, which I would hate. Filmed at her local school, this footage shows Ava when she was just on the verge of being discovered. Many girls in this school want to be like Eva Herzegova because she, she's a, an idol of, of these teenagers. She's very pretty and sexy and she, of course she, she makes a lot of money. <laughs> well, as I never thought about modeling and um... I was never really interested. I went to Prague with all my family to visit the capital. We were walking on the street and I met this girl who I knew from before and she goes, Ava, Ava, there's some French agency and they're making a beauty contest, come with me. I guess she was shy, she didn't want to go by herself, but I was even shyer than she was. And it's like, what am I doing here? And I wanted to leave. And I remember pressing the button of the elevator and uh, this woman ran after me and she was like, you, 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 you have to stay. So um, I went back and um, I won and I went to Paris. Communism was out, but Eastern Europe was in and Ava became the first in a new wave of super babes from behind the Iron Curtain. Now she's been invited back to Prague to judge the same competition which she won years earlier. Eurotrash cameramen obviously used this as an excuse to lurk backstage and ask up-and-coming Avers what they thought of their idol. She's she's top model because she's working a lot and she's famous, so I think it's inspiration for everybody. According to Ava, last year's emaciated waif look is dead, but it was potentially deadly. But I didn't really like it, not because... Um... I mean, it was very sad. You opened the magazine, you saw this girl dying. She was like, oh, is this... She looked like she's sick and she's gonna die in a minute. And it was dangerous for the young girls who wants to look like what they see. It didn't really give you the enthusiastic way of living. It was just so depressing. All of which means that Ava can tuck into the magnificent cake she's been given by her adoring fans to celebrate her 21st birthday. 
And if you think this is being a bit cocky about the calories, wait till you hear her top beauty tip revealed exclusively for Eurotrash. So do I have any suggestions if a ghost wants to look like me? I said, drink a lot of beer. That makes your breasts grow. That's what I heard. That's what my friends tell me. 